My name's Will O'Doherty Pop. Um, I'm an applications engineer with Vacuum Barrier Corporation. Um, we've been working in kind of food and beverage for a long time. Um, we developed liquid nitrogen dosers back in the 80s, um, and we've been kind of improving that technology since then. Um, and essentially, we got into cannabis because, um, as far as we're concerned, you know, a beverage is a beverage. Um, so whether we're dosing soft drinks or alcoholic beverages or cannabis beverages, it's kind of all the same to us. We are a small-ish company. I think we're about 60 employees now. Um, we're based out of Woburn, Massachusetts, which is just north of Boston. We do all of our uh, manufacturing there. We do our U.S. sales there. Um, and then we have a number of representatives overseas. Um, and I guess we're trying to look for um, essentially people manufacturing cannabis drinks with a, either an established production line, um, automated production line, or kind of a, a plan to automate a production line. We've been doing this for a long time. Um, we kind of have a lot of experience with that. Um, we're kind of our team over there, you know, our customer interface team is all engineers. Um, so we're kind of looking to help solve problems. We're looking for new industries and, and new things to get involved in. So um, we manufacture uh, liquid nitrogen dosers. Um, and those can be used for a number of different applications. Um, the primary one being pressurization um, of a container, whether that's a can or a bottle. Um, with still beverages, we dose a small drop of liquid nitrogen into the headspace after the container is filled. And if we put the cap on quickly, um, that nit liquid nitrogen will expand into a gas and create pressure internally. Um, so you can stack pallets of it, you can lightweight your containers, um, it doesn't get damaged in shipping, things like that. Um, some of our customers also use this for oxygen reduction in a product. Um, so if you have a particularly oxygen sensitive product, um, something like uh, coffee based drinks or milk based drinks are big for us. Um, those we you know, it's the same technology. We dose a small drop of liquid nitrogen in. Um, it boils off into a gas, but this time we would wait a few seconds to put the cap on. So as it's boiling off into a gas, the cold nitrogen gas is heavier than air. So it pushes all the air out of the top of the bottle. We put the cap on and you have a oxygen reduced environment in the bottle. So we work with all kinds of manufacturers, um, small to large, um, anything from, you know, we have a whole line of dosers. So they go from, you know, the, our, our smallest unit will go, you know, less than 200 containers per minute. Um, so you could be running 40 or 50 containers per minute um, up to our higher end units can discrete dose up to 2000 containers per minute. So that would be obviously a much bigger operation. Um, but kind of anything in that window is what we're looking for. Um, what we typically look for most is um, automated bottling and capping. Um, when you're, you know, hand filling and hand capping, we typically don't see the same results just because of human error in the timing. Um, but, uh, it, you know, if you have an automated filling line and an automating capper or seamer, um, it, it can work pretty well. As far as I know, we've gotten um, most of our inquiries from places where it's been established a little bit longer. Um, I think just in terms of getting an operation up and running to the point where we can come in and help you be, you know, 
even more successful and grow even more. Um, typically, that's that's where we see growth in terms of our business. Um, but of course, you know, the new states popping up at some point, they're going to get to that level as well. Um, and that's kind of where we want to, you know, be included in that process and, and help people grow and improve their production.